Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you three ways of dealing with large numbers in Microsoft Excel. This is also termed scientific notation, whereby if you type in a number that's greater than 13 digits, Excel will convert that into a formula, and this formula is referred to as the scientific notation of that number. Now, in many cases, we want to get rid of this for a number of different reasons, so I'm going to show you how. The first way is to format the cells that you're going to enter the information into as text. So we're dealing with column A, so I'm going to right click on column A, go to format cells, and then select text, press OK. Now when we type in a number that's greater than 13 digits, it will keep the number as it is, without converting it. Now this works if you're directly inputting information into the workbook, so you're typing numbers in or scanning a barcode, this method will work. What you'll get problems with is if you're pulling data in from a different source. So I've got another workbook here with lots of large numbers. So if I copy these and paste them in, it doesn't reflect that change. So what I'm going to do, there's another way we can do this, and this works if you've not got many numbers to deal with, is if I again format the cells as text, and then from the top, press, uh, press the first cell, then press F2 and enter. F2, enter, F2, enter. Okay? Now, if you didn't have many numbers to work with, this is fine. But if you've got thousands of numbers to work with, it's going to be tedious for you, or if you have to do it on a regular basis. Now, the third way is by using a macro. So, I'm going to paste the same information into column C. Okay. And then I'm going to deal with my macro. So, over here, I've created a button, and I'm just going to show you the code, and the code will be in the description below. So, if I go into my design mode, here we've got the macro that is going to deal with these numbers en masse and instantly. So here where it says with range is where I put my column information in. So if you're dealing with column A, you would change the C's to A. But we're dealing with column C, so we'll keep this as column C. Okay? That's all you need to edit with this macro. So now I'm going to show you this macro in action. So our cells are in column C. Our macro is focused on column C. When I press this button, my Excel's not responding, but it does work. You can see that that's changed every number in my, in my columns there. It's removed the scientific notation and it's sorted it out. So those are the three ways. I hope that's helped. If you are new to macros, uh, please do visit my other videos where I show you how to enable macros, how to create a button, and then how to edit those, uh, those pieces of information. If this has helped you, please like and subscribe, and see you next time.